All right, so <clears throat> I just uploaded my uh, final vlog, my final, my final video in general for a while. I just uploaded it, and I'm going to continue to make videos, and they're just, they're not going to be available right now. Um, but I'm still going to continue to make them. They will be on my channel at some point, which obviously if you're watching this, that point has come, and they're here. Now, I uh, still really can't tell you a whole lot about what was going on in that time, or in, in this time now, but as you're watching this, you're watching this in the future, and here I am still back in the past. I'm still back in July of 2015, okay? So that's the date that I'm making this video, and I'll go on from here on out. Making more videos, you're just not going to see them until the day comes when all this is done in my life. But basically, I can talk a little bit more about it now, but I, I'm not going to tell you everything, because it's really not necessary, and it's just... Uh, it's not really important anyway, but basically, you know, when you're on workers' comp, you are in a vulnerable, vulnerable position where you can pretty much become audited at any point. Uh, they really don't, don't even really have to have much of an excuse to look in on you. And they have the, the freedom and the right to do that. It's just, it's the law, you know. So it's important that you protect yourself in case if in the future your case becomes an issue, a legal issue. Uh, you don't really want to have any evidence to impend upon yourself. Uh, and, you know, there's no telling, not, not that I've done anything wrong, not that I did anything wrong, in any of the videos that I uploaded onto my channel. You know, I, I never did anything or disclosed anything that led on to the fact that that I'm not in the position that I'm in, that I don't have a reason to be on workers' comp. In other words, I'm on workers' comp, I'm not able to work, I have an injury, and it's preventing me from working, but... You know, you, you never really know what uh, an attorney or anybody else like that could use against you in court. So I really, I didn't want to have any evidence on my channel, even if, it, if it's nothing that points to the fact that, you know, that's, that's obvious. Obviously, I've had surgery. Obviously, I have an injury. You know, I've had multiple surgeries. I'm about to have my third surgery. So, you know, I have a doctor backing me up saying that, yes, I'm injured. And the thing is, it's not that I can't work. I think that I could work right now. But the thing is, the company that I work for, the position that I had with that company does not have light duty and I, I'm not in the position to go out and carry you know 32 foot fiberglass ladders around I'm not in the position to go into crawl spaces and attics and stuff like that which is a normal thing for the job that I had so it's just one of those in-between things and that's why I haven't worked for so long now in any other situation with any other company that had something for me to do that was considered light duty, I would have went back to work last year. I would have went back to work a long time ago. But the way things are here in this situation, I just simply can't do it. And, you know, it's not my fault. It's just, and it's not their fault either. It's just the fact that, you know, there, there are circumstances that prevent me from going back to work. In other words... 
and it's been a long time since I've made any videos. It's been a couple months, actually. Well, not a couple months, but it's it's been, you know, it's been a while. It's been at least a month since I've made one video, one single video. And I don't like that. I, I like to make videos. You guys know that I like my channel I like to keep my channel updated as much as I can and I'll, I have fun with it I don't do anything that is going to you know disclose that kind of information but like I said you never know what whoever may try to use against you when you're in a situation like this and I've just I've had advice that I should not put myself out there and, and put myself in a more vulnerable position than what's necessary. Now, the way that I saw it before I got that advice is that I don't have anything to hide. I have nothing to hide. I know I'm hurt. You know I'm hurt. The doctor knows I'm hurt. There's evidence showing that I'm hurt. So why, you know, just stay cooped up in a house and not do anything with my life I have all this free time that I'm not working and you know I still have to take care of my responsibilities at home of course but I don't want to lay around and get fat and lazy and not do anything with my life right now even though I have nothing to do all I have is time and that was what the, the channel was all about from the get-go was the fact that I had all this time and I, I figured that I could, you know, come up with some kind of creative outlet to reach out to people, show people what I like, talk to people, hopefully get to know people, so on and so on, and so on and so forth. And so that's what I did. However, there were points where I maybe, now I don't know all the details of, of, workers comp and how the legal stuff works and everything else but there there were points where maybe when I, I put a little bit too much or I said a little bit too much in some of my videos and I said some things that I probably should not have said so after that point came about I uh, I decided to, to take the videos down temporarily but it, it just turns out that you know, temporary thing, or this temporary thing that I decided to do is going to be for a long time. It's going to be a little bit more than temporary. Now, it's not going to be permanent, but it's going to be closer to permanent than temporary, just depending on how patient you are, I guess. So, like I said, I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but I am going to continue to make videos. So, consider these videos to be vlogs. I'm not going to do a daily vlog, but I am going to make videos at will whenever I want to do it. And I'll upload them when the time is right. So you're not going to see them until the time is right, in other words. But I will continue from here on out making the videos. And I'm not, like I said, I've never uh, uploaded any evidence proving that you know I'm not hurt and that my knee is not injured or anything like that and I'm not going to do I'm not going to do anything stupid you know I'm not going to do anything to hurt myself or push myself more than what I can handle in other words and like I said I would be working right now if I had work to do but I have no work to do so I'm just basically waiting to get better right now and like I said you're, you're watching this video now so that means that the situation's over and depending on how long this the gap is between today which is July 29 2015 and when this video is uploaded will signify how many videos I've made between now and in the future when that time comes. So you get what I'm saying? I hope you're getting what I'm saying. So, uh, 
I'll let you know that that in a couple days, my family and I, we are going to have a little getaway, kind of like the getaway we had uh, back in March for my birthday when we went to Chattanooga. But this time we're going to be going to somewhere that I've always wanted to go to. I've always wanted to see this place. Never been. Heard it's awesome. Seen pictures, seen videos. And, you know, ever since I was younger and I knew about this place, I've always wanted to visit. It's Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. So we're going to be doing that in a couple of days. And you know I am not going to go without my camera. I am not going to go without making videos. Okay? So those videos will be on my channel too. Uh, whenever all of them get up uploaded and they're all available at the same time. I know that, I, that it's probably going to be a lot of videos that are available all at once. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Which also, I'm probably going to continue to make videos even after the point that, uh, that all these other videos get uploaded. I'll continue on from there and make videos. I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to make a new channel or what. I know that there are reasons why I probably should make a new channel and that's simply because this channel has been dormant for so long and by the time these videos get put up I may have lost every subscriber that I've earned uh, in the time that I have had a channel. So I might have to start from scratch. So it'll just It'll depend on that mainly, I guess, uh, what happens, whether or not I'm making a, a new channel or not. Uh, another thing is I've, I've gotten a lot of uh, just hateful negative feedback on some of my videos. And the thing that I, I avoided and tried to keep from happening for so long happened. And there was just a lot of negative stuff. And like I've always said, I wanted to keep my channel positive and put a positive uh, image out there. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> oh, the beauty of video editing, right? Um, so another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that uh, this is another reason why I want to change and make a new channel. And it's just because I think I, I kind of uh, unintentionally put an image out there about this channel that is false. And I had the best of intentions whenever I, whenever I made this particular video that I'm talking about. But it just turned out to be a big just mess. And... It has a lot to do with uh, the way that people responded and I just, I don't want to give the wrong image. I don't want to give a false image of who I am or what I do. And so one video that you're not going to find coming back ever is that opiate withdrawal video. And there are a few reasons why. And first of all, uh, is just simply because it turned into this thing where it, it was like it became a forum, and there were people that were talking about dope and uh, doing heroin and doing morphine and just all kinds of stuff like that and I had people telling me you know that I had no idea what it meant to withdraw from opiates that the medicine that I was talking about tramadol is I'll just put it in other words for for uh, for wimps and that when it came to uh, authentic withdrawal pretty much I had no idea what I was talking about and you know I just want to say that I'm glad that I've never done heroin I'm glad that I've never been on morphine long enough that I would have to withdraw from it 
And I feel sorry for people that do. I've never done methadone or anything like that. I've never done hard opiates like Oxycontin and all that stuff. So no, I don't know what it's like to withdraw from those things, and I'm glad. And if I did, I wouldn't brag about the fact that I did. I'm just saying. Um, so I decided to get rid of that, you know. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that I, I put the, uh, the fact that, that I'm a Christian into the video and then I put it in that kind of perspective when I said that faith and prayer can heal you and that God can heal you from your addictions. People didn't want to hear that. Not everybody was like that, but you know, just like real life, it was like 50-50. Half the people agreed, half the people liked it. The fact that I said that, the other half couldn't stand it and it put them into an utter rage and they automatically wanted to get into this big debate with me about the authenticity of the Bible and Jesus Christ and Christianity in general and that's really not what I was going for when I made that video I just wanted to help people come off of their medication when they were having issues with it and obviously you know the fact that I got 20,000 views on that one video says that yeah there's an issue with people in medication namely opiates in this country and other countries and so it's it's interesting that that happened it's interesting that I came up with that outcome but that's not really who I want to put myself out there as being I'm not a drug addict I have a history with that kind of stuff but I'm not a drug addict and so I'm not going to put out that kind of image. And no, I don't want people talking about that stuff in my, on the page that my video is on. Now, I'm sorry about that. You know, if that offends anybody, then, you know, I'm sorry. But I'm not, I'm not a counselor. I'm not a drug counselor. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not into any of that stuff. You know, I don't know the first thing about rehab. I've never been to rehab. Uh... And like I said, I've never done any of that hard stuff enough to withdraw from it. So that's why I got rid of that video. Those are the reasons why it's gone and it's not coming back. And it really skewed my, uh, my results on my channel overall anyway because that one video got more views than all my other videos combined. And I got so many subscribers because of that video. It was it was crazy. And, you know, it, there's, there's no point for you to subscribe to a video that you're misled by into thinking that that's what this channel is about when that is, in fact, not what this channel is about. This channel has nothing to do with that. It's just simply the fact that I was going through that period in my life and I wanted to make a video about it and maybe help some people in the process. So that's what I did, and it just turned into this big, huge thing that is just completely irrelevant to my channel in general. All right? Um, but I'm going to uh, come to expect that if you make... A YouTube channel if you make YouTube videos then you need to expect criticism and you need to expect trolling and you need to expect negative people in general and you know no matter what no matter what you're trying to go for you're gonna be criticized by your work and that's always what it's gonna seem to be referred to as work even though I don't consider it work I don't consider it anything that I've produced, per se. I don't expect it to become a product or anything like that. It's just me expressing myself. And some people, when they understand that that's what I'm going for, they don't like that either. And they don't think that I deserve to have a YouTube channel because I'm not all about business and I'm not all about numbers and quota and blah, blah, blah. And I just want to say that 
that's not what YouTube has always been about. It seems to be what it's all about nowadays, in the days that we live in now, because of what it's become. I think it's awesome that you can make revenue off of your creativity, that you can make a living if you're that good at it, but that's not really what I want to begin with. So that, that means that I don't deserve a YouTube channel? That means that I don't deserve to make videos and express myself and not expect to get money out of it? I mean, come on. That's not what I'm about anyway. So, I, I don't know. I just, I kind of want to start over again with a fresh approach and do things differently. Now, when I first made this uh, channel, I expected these kind of things to come. I didn't know how long it would take for them to come. Uh, but more than anything, I expected to learn and learn from my mistakes. And I've made mistakes and I have learned from those mistakes and I know now you know what what I should do and what I shouldn't do and I hope that in the future I can implement what I've learned into what I do and what I put out there and there's really nothing else I can say about it but uh so look forward to these videos to come and like I said I still haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna make a new channel after all this is said and done right now it's just not worth making a new channel because I'm not at the point where I can upload videos in this time so I guess just uh, look forward to having an answer when the time is right and I will do things differently when I'm able to. But other than that, uh, just look forward to the next video. Um, if things are the way that I say they are, the way that I've said they'll be in this video, then you should have the next video already available to you, um, which is a good thing. So go and check out the other videos. Um, and I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you around. Later.